If we wanted to describe the position of a star in the sky from our location in the field, well, we can use two simple coordinates to do that. First thing we're going to do is we're going to ask ourselves, how high is the star above the horizon? To do that, we're going to look at the point along the horizon that is directly beneath our star, and then we're going to draw an angle directly up to the star. And this angle is known as the star's altitude. So altitude is measured starting at the horizon. We assign that a value of zero degrees, and then it's 90 degrees at the zenith. And if we want to consider an altitude that is below the horizon, in other words, say for a star that has already set or hasn't risen yet, well, we would begin at zero degrees at the horizon and then use negative values of the altitude until we reach the nadir at minus 90 degrees. To work out where along the horizon we want to look to find this particular star, we start out at due north and we trace a clockwise angle around the horizon until we arrive directly beneath our star. So this angle is called the star's azimuth. And we can even measure that as zero degrees at due north, 90 degrees at due east, 180 at south, and 270 degrees west before reaching zero at due north. So this system of measurement goes by a couple of names, but it's often referred to as horizon coordinates or sometimes the altitude azimuth system, or even simply ALTAS, just for short. <laughs> 